Hello, let's talk about a buoy that's tied to the riverbed. So usually the buoy floats above the water surface. Um, maybe this is a super high tide, so the buoy is now fully submerged. What are the forces acting on the buoy? There is of course the weight of the buoy acting vertically downward. There is of course the upthrust acting vertically upward. Since a buoy is designed to float, the upthrust should be much larger than the weight. Why isn't the buoy floating towards the water surface? It's because the tension in the rope is holding it down. Since the tension acts along the rope, the tension now provides a leftward horizontal component. So why isn't the buoy accelerating towards the left? It must be because the water current is exerting a rightward force on the buoy. Uh, which is the reason why the rope is slanted in the first place. So the buoy actually experiences four forces, but it remains stationary because these four forces add up to zero. If we have to do any calculations, we will usually resolve the forces into the vertical and horizontal components. In the vertical direction, the net force should be zero. So in the vertical direction, we have the weight and we have the vertical components of the tension, T cosine theta. I'm letting this angle uh, be theta. So the weight and the vertical components of the tension are balancing the upward uh, upthrust. The net force in the horizontal direction should also be zero. So horizontally, we have the force that the current exists on the buoy. That's the rightward force. So this rightward force is being balanced by the horizontal components of the tension, which is uh, in the left, leftward direction. So the horizontal components of tension would be T sine theta. So four forces acting on the buoy, but they add up to zero in both the vertical and horizontal directions. That's why uh, we can set up two equations and solve accordingly. Easy peasy. Ta-ta.